Oh, we some fucking legit people right now. We are like so legit. Bitch, how you gonna get the beat? <laughs> Why you fucking laughing at me? I just, I'm not laughing at you. How do I Gerald? look right now? You look like Gerald. We literally need to make a hashtag things that Gerald do. Like you don't know, like how and put it on our page. Like, right. You know, viral. I, like that nigga Brandon G. Jackson wanted to put me on his face. Like Nick, like Rick Ross Kevin Hart. He fucked me. Up. <laughs> I don't think like, he got that. Who? Who? Brandon T. Jackson? Yeah. 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 Where? Where? At the uh, the Jenny's right there on Kevin Hart. Oh yeah. Oh shit. I can't eat. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> we back. We back. We back. It feels so good to be back. You don't know how happy I am. Oh, to be here my right God. Now. Like. How long has it been? I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Since December 24th, yes. 2021. Oh my God. That's how long we've been gone. We've been busy. Life. Life. Life has been happening. Welcome back to the Brown Welcome Girl back Element, y'all. To the Brown Girl Element, everybody. Yes. Come on. Round of applause. All right. So a lot has happened since December 24th. 2022. Life. I mean, 21. 21. It's 22. Right. <laughs> I'm going to the future. Okay. We not 20 no more. We not nowhere in our 20s no more, y'all. Like, oh my God. We 30. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived in this new season, this new decade of life, and it feels really, really good. Yes. Like, really, really good. Oh, and we forgot. So, in case you guys are just now joining us, you know, joining us or whatever, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves, you know, just in case for the newcomers. Oh, okay. I'm mm -hmm. Kristen, but I go by Chris. Yes, yes. And I cannot. I'm Simone. You guys can call me Moni or just Simone, other than that. And we make up the brown girl element. We're going to put, like, a thing. Right, like, think. <laughs> okay, so as we were talking about, we just turned 30. Yes. And I can speak for myself. Between December 24th and today, well, I won't say today, but you know, mm -hmm. that little time period yeah, we was girl, off, I felt like on? I was going through a seasonal depression. Really? Yes. It's like so many emotions, like this was last year of my 20s, and I think it was just, just dealing with the pressure because y'all don't know how stressful it is right. to run. A business. Yes. Because this is a business. This is a business for us. Yeah. Yes. And I don't think th that's literally what's been going on. Like for us, it was more so like, okay, girl, <laughs> we got the holidays coming up. Right. Life is happening. Life changing. I was still events. in school. Still in school. I'm still in Alabama in case y'all did not yes. know. So she was having to travel back and forth. Back, back and, and forth, forth. Back and forth. And it was just like, you know what? We finna turn 30. Like something exciting is finna happen for us. We need to sit in this. Yes. We need to sit in it. We need to relax. We need to live, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. And a lot has happened. And we are just happy to be here. Like, I love it. So why, Why? okay, you was touching on the subject. Why do you think, that, first of all, before we get started, shout out to us for season three. Okay. Season I three. I know we're going all around the world. We but, are. We are we, so we're so happy to be back because we have some. Look, I don't even know what camera to look at. We have so much to share <laughs> yes. with y'all. We are on season three. three. And I think it's beautiful that we can say season three and we're 30. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, we just entering a whole new I'm thing. I'm going to have to play them numbers. Three, 30. You got to give me three more. We going we gonna to do that. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, put me some magic numbers in the comments. Right, right please, there. please. Okay. So, yeah, yeah why did you good. say, I'm sorry to cut you off. Why did you think? Or feel the need to go on a hiatus. What was Girl, um, number one, life had be began to be overwhelming for me. Like, my job mm -hmm. was, like, my biggest stressor. You know, I had went to the doctor back in October. Right. And I had got diagnosed with, like, um, in so many words, high blood pressure triggered mm -hmm. by uh, yeah. anxiety. Yeah. Okay? So, like, I would yeah. be at work. And my blood pressure would be like 
one ten over a hundred, and I'm twenty nine years old. Twenty nine. I'm, 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 you know, I'm pretty we good. Right. When I go you know, to yeah. when I go to the doctor, I don't get flagged for high blood pressure. Right. I don't get flagged for pre diabetes. Right. Right. So it's different. That you know, scary. It's scary. I as would, fuck. you know, get these dizzy spells, damn near fall out because of how stressed I was at my job. I wasn't finding any peace there. Oh, God. So that was stressing me out. I was in school. I hate school. I hate school. I hate school. I hate school. Just in case. So just, y'all ain't here the first right. time. Look. <laughs> so that in itself was a journey because yeah. I'm not. Yeah. But I know I need it, so I'm going to do it. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Then yeah. being a mom. And I yeah, swear to God, I'm not trying to complain, but y'all, I mean, it's doing the truth. all we, those things, right. trying to be an active parent. Yeah, because somebody, people can be parents. That is true. That is true. But being an active parent, but being an yeah. active parent is yeah. totally different. And trying to start, well, not start. We already started the business, but keep the business flowing, flowing. You know what I'm saying? Wind down Wednesday. Is that every Wednesday. trying to stay up on topics? Keeping up with other people's life and stuff like that. What's going on in the world just so we can stay afloat for y'all. You know what I'm saying? And while, come, while working. While working and keeping a personal it's life. Ghetto. It's ghetto. It's ghetto. And having a personal life. Y'all, it became overwhelming and we had to take a step back. Yeah. And prioritize yeah, some Honestly. Things. Save yeah. up some money. Save up, y'all. We got an episode about that with businesses yeah. and stuff. But yes, it, it was a lot. And I agree with Chris. Like... I needed a, the hiatus because I really wanted to sit down and just be in the moment for yeah. myself. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Girl. Like, cause we, with the podcast and stuff, we really love the support that you guys have given us in the past two, you know, seasons and stuff like that. But we really, in order for us to come back with life, and not just feel yeah. so heavy and boring. Mm-hmm. You know, we want to give our best. And you can't give your best and just talk about stuff. If for one, you ain't got the car fixed. And then for two, you ain't lived. How you going to talk about something you ain't out there living life? If it's rushed, it's not genuine. It's not genuine. Point blank period. Point blank period. So, you know, we let people out. You know, they do their thing. Live their life. Talk all on the internet. But we was like, we just going to chill. We going to keep it cute. And when, and when we come it, back. When it's time to pop back out gonna pop back at it's and over for over you bitches for you. <laughs> we're together now i'm done with school y'all D- come on shut yourself out i graduated with my master's oh, degree master with you. Oh, oh, hey, yes. and we both successfully turned 30 and we're still alive <laughs> <laughs> my <Come> back hurt <laughs> <laughs> See? my knees hurt but how do you feel now that we're here together collectively and we could talk about this? Because our birthdays, her birthday is in February, mine is in April. So how do you feel now, sis? Being 30, like what what was that for you? Like how was that feeling for you? Like, cause that's a big it's a milestone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Transitioning from your twenties. Yeah. We're really adults now. Like for real, for real. Yeah. How was that for you? Like, um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, the biggest thing that I can say is putting me first. Ooh, and I think that last year, yeah, last year was very transformational for me. Yeah, because it was. I put it into yeah. people pleasing yeah. well to an extent. Yeah, you know, I still, still have working. some work to do. We still, still working. working. Yeah. Still working. But I put it into people pleasing, and I started putting me and my feelings first. Right, and that was something that I hadn't done. Right. And a, I hadn't done yeah. it. Yeah. I yeah. had not done it. And it's like last year through the trials and tribulations, <laughs> I made it through. <laughs> and I can look back <laughs> on my 20s. Mm-hmm. And, you know, be grateful for all the things that I went through. All yeah. these niggas that played me. <sighs> Baby, them lessons. Them lessons learned. Yes. I experienced everything in my 20s. My son. You did? Oh, my God. I don't even think about Girl. I don't even think about that. Everything. Everything. In my 20s. You literally gave birth to a whole soul. That's crazy. Wow. I feel like. Wow. My 20s was like double, so technically I'm like 40. Because <laughs> you gave birth. <laughs> That's a whole other storyline, baby. Yeah, itself. you did. For so, real. I'm slick. That's wild. I sold 40. I ain't even 30. 
girl. Like, I think for me, when I sit down and think about 30, it hit a lot. Like, y'all know I'm a sap. It hit really hard. Yeah. But in a good way. Yeah. You know, and I think uh, we both celebrated our 30th birthday separately. But I think it was a beauty in that, yeah. in a sense. Because I think we needed to just sit and just be by ourselves, by ourselves and in our element and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You know, so we can really evaluate the things that we, because we met in our 20s. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, right before 20, if that makes yeah. sense. But our friendship developed a lot in, in our, our 20s. 20s yeah. yeah. And I think that it was good for us to have this hiatus, take this break, so we could sit with what we had, um, the experiences that we had, the different experiences, and also the ones we shared together, you know, in our 20s, so that we can see what we want to do in our 30s and stuff like that. Because for me, 30, y'all... I turned 30, and I, I swear to you, for the whole week of 30, it was just, like, moving so fast, but in a good phase. Yeah. Like, it was, so like, all the, I felt, like you said, yeah. I put myself first. You know what I'm saying? And it was almost like an instant switch for me. Yeah. Because I spent my whole 20s, you know, people pleasing just like you. That's literally yeah. one thing that I think that we have in common, and a good, another thing why we bonded as friends. Yeah. You know, we, um, we love people. We try to put our best foot forward all the time and stuff like that, and I think... The word no has been so rewarding mm. in my life now. And it, it's only been a month for me, but it's been great. I don't put a lot of action behind stuff and it's just been great. Like I, I like you said, one thing I can say that I learned from my 20s um, is to just be satisfied with me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I think a lot of times in our 20s, we were trying to find ourselves mm-hmm. mold ourselves go through different things and stuff like that trying to fit into a certain criteria of what was going on a certain yeah. box you know what i'm saying so yeah i love me now and it feels great so one thing that i can say mm-hmm. and i'm sure that we can agree on is we're not going back and forth with nobody we not going back and forth with anyone do you hear me like nobody like anyone anyone like anyone going back and forth and i think the best thing set boundaries mm, y'all. Like any and everyone as um simone stated like therapy has been like the best thing for us yes because Lord. it's helping us figuring out ourselves so i feel like we can be better in our lives mm-hmm. and we can be better in our business yeah but yes. one thing yeah one yeah. thing that has really helped me is setting boundaries with people that was like the number one thing that I have done. And when I tell you, it has changed my life. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to let you affect me. If that's how you feel, Good I'm day, sorry sir. you feel that way. God bless have you. Have a nice day. Yeah. God bless you. I'm not about to go back and forth with nobody. Or you be. Oh, and I think that's, that is when that's a form of self-love. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. You learning your boundaries. You understand, like, look, this. I'm no longer going to allow this to affect me. I'm growing I love where I am. I'm setting a foundation for what I want to do in the future. And I think all of that comes, we, we would have never just, if we didn't take a break to just sit down, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. just reflect, like self-reflect and stuff like that. Yeah. We wouldn't know like, hey, you need to set boundaries. Like we would not know that. We really wouldn't. So yeah, that's that's definitely, mm, that that's a big thing for me. Like, I, who child, even when it comes to dating, and I just speak, you know, for myself, I am definitely doing what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> even when we first started the season two <laughs> or season one, I, I'm just living life. Like, honestly, shout out to Courtney Kardashian. <laughs> I'm just living life. Yes. yes. And I'm happy. Like, I am genuinely happy in this, in this season with all things and with dating. I'm, Things are, are fine. We're, we're working. You know, Simone is finding herself. And um, I love that. My dating life is still to be determined. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Look. Mm. Guys. Zoom in on that, King Look, on. To be continued. To be continued. Mm. All yeah. right. <laughs> Inner peace. What does that look like for you now at 30? How that looks different? Like, and I know this sounds crazy, but like... I'm at my most pe- peaceful moment, zen moment, yeah. when I'm at home, mm-hmm. in the bed, mm-hmm. watching my 600-pound life. Kristen. Or hoarders on TLC. 600-pound life? My 600-pound life why is so that, crazy. Why does that bring you peace? Because it's like, that's <laughs> what I want to do. And it, it used to be like, oh, I got to go to the club. I got to go to the club. I got to mm-hmm. go to the club. 
Girl, I can't go to the club every weekend. I know that's right, baby. Life has changed. We go out, we be ready to leave 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. That's what I'm giving you. I know I had made an Instagram post. Like, I said, like, look, my cut up time is 12 o'clock. I'm not staying out past this. Mm-mm. The only time I stay up there late is when I'm on vacation, and I can barely do that. Barely do that. Barely do that. I got to take a nap during the day. Got to take a nap. Oh, girl, most definitely. Mm-mm, most definitely I think peace for me is just being around people that I genuinely care for you know like <laughs> like me yes. because I think a lot of times we don't we do not sit up here and you know we might try to focus on being like oh I'm gonna be cool with this person and oh I could get something from this person or benefit from this and just you know you you try your best to like be in social groups yeah or be cool with people Ooh, yes, because you know yes, what I'm saying yes, like yes. You, you don't dislike them but it's like okay yeah I'll do this with you if you invite yeah. me you know what I'm saying yeah. I'll go here that stuff gets so exhausting and everything is like especially when like you know you're not as as cool no, I ain't gonna say cool it's, you know no, it's for real yeah, as you would think no yeah. exactly now they're I'm not your close no they're not in my close friend circle and that stuff is exhausting having a fake with people <laughs> that you really is like oh we cool but we are we really that cool? are we really that cool like yeah. baby you ain't gang and i'm not we i'm not trying to hang out with like, no, and I think that I did that a lot and it's it's no shade to anybody because I feel like that is also something that I've learned now like you can have friends for different reasons <laughs> and for different seasons and for di- <laughs> and then when you because when you hit 30 and stuff you look over the different stories and things and stuff that happened in your 20s and like yeah. we had that episode where we talked about friendships at this point I don't dislike nobody I have no beef nothing against anyone but I really want everybody in my circle to be team Simone 100 percent. if you're not team small i don't want you around me like i don't want to fake for real i don't want to just hang out mm. i don't want to just hang out just because you know you know, because you know i'm fun i want people around me that is going to balance me out like we could talk about spiritual stuff we could talk about mm-hmm. you know girl we need to get our big asses in the gym yeah <laughs> that's gonna push you and yeah. to be a better person go too. get that degree y'all, y'all got the same you slacking. right exactly i need them type of people around me so that's one thing that I know for sure. You peace, my inner circle. Peace. The, they bring the, me peace. I just wanted to reiterate on the inner circle thing. Mm-hmm. It gets smaller the older we Ooh, get. Ooh, yeah. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. And you know what? Shout out, like, shout out to my mama because my mama told me this yeah. when I was in high school. She was like, because she used to fuss at me because I used to be like, you got that personality though. My mama will. You do. Like, you have a big personality where you would want, you know. Yeah, yeah. You do. So, yeah. she would tell, like, when she wouldn't let me go places, she'd be like, they ain't going to be your friends for the rest of your life. And, I, and you know, back then, when I was in the house, I was like, like, why would you say that? Yeah, what hurt About my friends. Like, they're my friends. I, I love her. But, like, <laughs> I can honestly say that I probably talk on a daily basis, on a daily basis. Not, you know, I have mm-hmm. friends from high school that I still catch up with. Of go course. Out to yeah. Dinner and yeah. stuff like that. But, like, my true and true friends, like, probably, like, two. Yeah. Yeah. From high school. And that makes sense. And I feel like even in my life, like, most of us are in group messages. So yeah. now, like, we all, the same people, I mean, we're in yeah. the group message. So it's like, it's no cutoff. Yeah. We can sit up here and randomly, you know, just checking in or send a funny meme, just send a TikTok yeah. or something. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I I agree. Like, that is a, a big life le- lesson. Like, everybody that was in your friend, your friend in your 20s is not going to bring you peace and be your friend in your 30s. Like, mm-hmm. it's just not going to happen. At all. Choose wisely. Choose okay. your friends to all our young listeners. Yes, for real. Like, choose wise. Well, choose wise. Oh, girl, speaking of listeners. Mm-hmm. So, you know, um, while we were getting, taking our break, you know, I took some time to go on over the oh, numbers. Yes. And I wanted to sh- give a shout out. Listeners in Jamaica. Yes! Y'all listening to us, we just want to say we appreciate y'all. We really do. in yes. and watching the Brown Girl Element. We had some a listener, a listener, but still a listener, still a listener. Shout out to y'all, in Germany. Yes. Oh, no. Okay, shout out to Germany, Austria, Australia, 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 Australia. Yeah. Shout out to y'all in Australia. Yeah. Because we fuck with y'all. We do. Like, look. Baby, we could travel now. We got these passports. Oh. What's tea? 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just. Yeah, it's excited. It, it feels nice, and I think that's why now, like, just looking back at the hiatus and things like that, the stuff, the break that we took, it's like we have so much energy, you guys. Like, it's just a 30 is a newness, you yeah. know what I'm saying? This hiatus brought about a lot of new stuff, it brought new energy, positivity, and stuff like that. Like, we don't feel so heavy, yeah. Like, it's not a job, like, if it's fun, and we want to keep it that way, you know what I'm saying? We want to keep it fun. So, like, I guess I think we should ask, like, or one thing we should discuss is what are you looking forward to? Oh, yeah. What are you looking forward to? Answer that first. But then what are some habits that you have changed for yourself? Mm. Yeah. As an individual, seeing some bad, like the negative things from your 20s and stuff like that. After sitting with yourself in this high 80s, you know, being 30 and everything, therapy and all that kind of stuff. What are things you're looking forward to in a positive light? And also, what are some negative things about yourself that you are looking forward to working on and changing? Because you got to see it with um, it. You got to see it with it. Being a procrastinator. Mm, okay. Um, I think one thing that I have done, is I, I've sat down more. Mm-hmm. Like, being at home. Why? Yeah. I want to become more of a homebody. Like, I want to get in the habit of, instead of sleeping in on Saturdays, waking up, cooking breakfast, cleaning okay. up. Yeah. That's something I want to do. Right. Because my grandma did. Yeah. 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 That's my girl. I can understand that. So, my mama kind of taught me the habit of sleep in on Saturdays because you can't. Yeah. So, That's... I sleep in on Saturdays <laughs> because. I... No. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, one thing that I really look forward to. I'm still thinking of the negative thing. I'm, I'm probably going to have to come back to that because mm-hmm. I got to think about it. That's fine. But investing in like some things that I wanted, like this fashion stuff. Yeah. I want to get my reels popping. Yeah. Like I mean, but you know, people reels. really like those. Sis is 1010 when it comes to searching for outfits, putting pieces together from different, you know, collections and stuff. This your girl. I'm not going to hold you. She really like, is. And I feel like I have a passion or fashion. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put my what I know to good use and start styling these folks. Yeah, because you can. And then that's another thing when you sit down and you spending your time yeah. in the 80s, it make you realize, dang, I'm really good yeah, at this. this. I'm really Girl. good. And I've been sleeping on myself. Yeah. I say your motivational post. Follow us. Follow us on six out. Okay? Please. We're gonna put it in the we're thing. Gonna, we're gonna put it in the thing. It's gonna be we're follow gonna, us on TikTok yeah. below. We're gonna <laughs> but yeah, like we're coming. Kind of, it's like even though we're doing a brown girl element mm-hmm. together, we're developing our own. Yes, we are. Yeah, cause and that's a part of evolving. That's a yeah. part of growing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that is what I like about us too. Is because we do give each other space to where you know, and that's a maturity thing that yeah. comes with time. Cause a lot of people can't handle that. No, a friend. Maybe we may talk every day one week, and then one week we'll go without saying yep. that to each other and do a check in. Uh huh. And talk, be on the phone for fucking three hours. Talking nonstop. And that comes with maturity because a lot of time when you're younger and stuff like that, your responsibilities are less. Mm-hmm. So you can spend more time. Y'all can see each other more. This yep. and that. And I think that that's another beautiful thing. Like you, you're you able to take breaks, you know, from your friends and people and realize, you know, the love is still there, but we all growing separately. Yeah. We need a break from each other and things like that. Um, I would think for me. Something that I'm looking forward to is me really stepping into my purpose, like you said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that was literally the nail on the head for me. I know exactly what I want to do. I have a um I really do think I have a gift of speech. Yeah. But I also love I research too. and I love medicine. So I really want to get into really helping um, you know, African American women learn more about mm-hmm. um the health when it comes to giving birth. You yeah. know, and children stuff. Because I've had different friends. I know what you went through, you know, when it came to heartburn yeah. and your pregnancy and stuff like that. And just you doing mm-hmm. the research, getting the education. Because, child, we're going back to school again. Said, the both said, of us. What am I doing? Back <laughs> to school again. The refund checks be not. Well, we're going to say that for another topic. Another right. Day. Cancel student loans. Because I ain't paid them bitches in like two years. <laughs> I really want to get back and really step into my purpose and use my speech, use my love for research and medicine and stuff like that. And really give back yeah. and really sit. And, and you have to sit with yourself in order to find out what your purpose is. Oh, I, I smell a foundation brewing. Girl, 
You see, that's what I'm saying. You see the beauty in that. You develop yourself by yourself. Mm. She develop herself by herself, and then y'all come in the middle and make stuff pop. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? It really works. Mm -hmm. So that is definitely something I'm looking forward to. Really stepping in my purse purpose. Excuse me, being in alignment. You know, with God and the Lord, baby. Because mm -hmm. without Him, we are nothing. We are nothing. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? Without you, God, my life is in. Complete. <laughs> I meant that. Yeah, I, hey, sometimes, like, you know, you random, feel it. I feel it. I gotta, gotta go get it out. out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but the okay. negative thing, um, <laughs> something negative that I'm, I, laziness. Y'all, oh, yeah. I ain't I'm gonna so hold y'all. I, at least we can admit, we admit it. That is, there's some bitches out here. I'm gonna call y'all out. Y'all nasty and mm. you lazy. At least we can mm. sit up here and say we're gonna try our best to keep our goddamn house clean. We're gonna try our best to be on time. But sometimes we be lazy, baby. I'm still working on it. I'm. I want to try to be on time for work. I want to try to be on time for life. <laughs> <laughs> I was here at 6.01. I feel like that is major. And I was here at 6.40, I mean 5.45. Okay. See, anyway, back to... Uh, if you're on time, then you're late. Okay. See? That's so, I'm working on it. You know what I'm saying? I always feel like I got time. I always feel like yeah. I got time. And that is something negative about me. Like, I have to stop thinking I got time. Not doing what I need to do on time or beforehand you know what i'm saying not really being on my stuff yeah. you know so i'm really trying to fix that about myself i'm older now i want more and in order mm. to get more you got to change your habits i am drinking more water oh yeah most definitely. and i'm i'm incorporating a skincare regimen that includes sunscreen and i know that may not seem like that much. oh and also a vitamin c serum yeah. yes. <laughs> and i know that may not seem like much to you all <laughs> But the key to flawless skin is drinking your water and taking care of it. And also minding your business. Minding your business. But, but for the most part, taking care of your skin and drinking water. Yeah. And this is a year of good skin. Y'all know we used to put makeup on. Girl, you we would catch that shit. No. 2014. <laughs> baby, we had just got our contour and highlight palettes. Baby. 2014, we look like some food. And the hair. <laughs> okay, all we wanted was a beat face and a sewing. Put it the evolution of us becoming and being comfortable with it. And I saw a self reflection of the dumbass <laughs> shit that we used to do. Hey, but for real though, like that's that's the whole point of all of this. We really wanted y'all to see, like, just talk, yeah, about the evolution and stuff. But yeah, going back to the point, I'm definitely gonna stop being lazy. So if y'all my friends for real, push us, push, please, please. accountability, mm -hmm. accountability. I wish my students' parents to hold their kids accountable. Like we I hold my doing that today. We, do that. we not doing that today. That's gonna be the next episode. Where we talk about our jobs. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. We, but we, accountability, accountability. I'm sorry, y'all. I be getting off. Look, no, it's okay. Yeah. But accountability, like I think that's also like a major word, you know, for this mm. new decade of life. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we, we not kids no more. Yeah. So a lot of the dumb, like you, you pointed out the dumb shit that we did. We can't sit up here and blame it on the fact that we were young and naive. That mm. we are young and naive. We can't say we didn't know. We can't say, oh well, I thought. Hold yourself accountable, bitch. I have issues with that sometimes as well. I'm a great liar, first of all. Mm. Uh, I, I ain't got to... The no. And that's the thing. Like, holding yourself accountable in this mm. season is so important. Because I feel like that's the only way we're going to be able to reach where we want to yeah, go. Yeah. Individually and together. You know, y'all, like, for real, we're older now. We're all adult, adults. Everybody in our circle is grown. You know what I'm saying? 90s babies, 92, you know. And the older people, you know, we grown, grown. Mm -hmm. So accountability is a big thing. It's huge. It's huge. What would you say? Um, how can I say this? What would you say your word for? I guess just this year. You're 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 just being thirty. Not even the other years, because we're not gonna. You know, we're gonna focus on the now. I don't want to get too deep in the planning out stuff because my life ain't turned out shit like i thought it was can it can it be a quote or a phrase oh yeah whatever you feeling what's on your heart 
I think it'll be a future life's great. Like, mm. life's great. I liked it. Life's fucking great. I liked it. Before for you, 20, for, for 2022. 2022. Like, in the space that I'm in right now, yes. life's fucking great. I'm following my dreams. You are. I'm making shit happen. Mm-hmm. I'm holding myself accountable because we can't hold other people. No, no. Therapy taught us that. Therapy yeah. taught us that. Yeah. People have to hold themselves. Yeah, that's true. Okay. We can only focus on what we can do for our sake. Right. So I'm holding myself accountable and I'm living my life the way I want to live it. Not Hallelujah. according to what somebody else thinks or Mama. says. Um, y'all mamas. Okay. okay. Cousin. These, the church. These. The church. All these. <laughs> for real. Baby, I'm twirling like the a internet. Mom. Yeah, for real. real. Like I had, I had reposted a post. I gotta go to it. Mm -hmm. That you said, that you posted. I think I know what you talking about. The natural body. Yep. Oh y'all, yeah. About the natural body. Yeah. And that's a deep post right there. It said something about don't let the internet fool you. Mm Mm-hmm. Because look, natural natural bodies bodies and regular jobs Uh are still in style. They will never go out. Like, never go out. Like, I don't care nothing about none of that. I think that's true. I found it. It says, ladies with natural bodies and regular jobs are also winning in life. Hmm. Don't let this social media shit fool you. Yeah. And don't. Because I saw uh, one of my friends, Tiara. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to T. Shout out to you, Tiara. She shared with me something Mm -hmm. on Facebook the other day. Hold on. And it was the Mississippi baddies. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah. I think I saw somebody you repost that. Mm-hmm. And it's basically like a list of like all the women, pretty women. That are shaped like a certain type of way. Yeah, they shaped a certain type they, of way. Kind of yeah. look like. But at the end of the day, it's like social media is still trying to turn us against each other. Like, Almost definitely. A competition. It's not a competition, man. Right. And one thing about it, right. I ain't in competition with nobody. I'm nobody. in competition with myself. Yep. With yourself. To be better than you was in your 20s. That's another Hello. quote. That's another Hello. quote. I'm in competition with Hello. my 20s. Because we accomplished yes. a lot in, in our 20s. Yes. So we need to do twice as much. Twice as much. In our 30s. Yeah. Period. Drops. Drops mic. For real. Okay, y'all turn. <sighs> I would say um, What's the word my word for twenty twenty or phrase yeah or word or phrase I would just say uh, honestly I know we are I know y'all might have seen like the little change or whatever I know we are the brown girl element I know a lot of times we use the brown heart emoji as of late I've been using the white heart Yo. emoji and I think for me I just want like my phrase or my you know everything sincere. Mm-hmm. Everything sincere. That yeah. that would be my phrase for 2022. Okay. I don't want to go into anything, you know, not being, not wanting to be a part of it 100. percent Yeah, I'm not feeding into nothing. If I don't want to do it, I'm not doing it. Yeah, if I don't believe in it, I'm not gonna be a part of it. Like everything I do is gonna be sincere and from the heart. Yeah, throughout. The whole year. That's you know what I'm saying? And that's what I want. I don't want no cloudiness. I'm going into every situation with a clean heart. I don't want to have. I'm working on my anxiety with things yeah. and stuff like that. Like, I really want to hop into things and to in my purpose, my friendship, my love life. I want to jump into everything Yeah. without any kind of like, oh, I don't think that hesitation hesita- or second beautiful guessing hesitation, second, yeah. hesitation, second yeah. guessing, none of that. Going in, into everything, every situation, anything I want with a pure heart. And being intentional. And being intentional. I love that for me. Hey! Uh, I love that. Shout out to our me. 30s. Shout out to our 30s, baby, because we here. We here. And it's going to be a beautiful ride. It's going to be a beautiful ride. I <laughs> know. <laughs> I know. It's the applause for me. It's the applause for me. Did we, did we sing Lady Gaga applause on here? No. We will next time. The upcoming season. Up season three, y'all. Season y'all. Three. And I'm going to tell you one thing. <sighs> Not only have we been evolving personally, but our business is evolving. It's growing. Shout it's out to growing. the people that support us. For Shout real. out to our executive producers. <laughs> we Shout out y'all. to you, Kenyon. You Crazy. support us so much. So shout out to you, Kenyon. Um, shout out to him. Shout out to Gerald. We gonna have shout a hashtag out. with him on our page. You gotta show y'all, Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> Shit that Gerald do. That's gonna be the hashtag. <laughs> y'all, Gerald is crazy <laughs> as hell. 
and I can't wait to introduce. <laughs> he got a stance and everything, baby. <laughs> so be looking out for him. Shout out to him too. But yeah, y'all. He like he hell of a good uh, karaoke. That motherfucker can sing, and he like to drink tequila eggnog. <laughs> so ain't no way. To we can picture him. Like, just his head right. in his sunglasses. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know, but we do have a lot in store, you guys, for season three. Yeah. We appreciate y'all so, so much. Everybody who's been reaching out to us, DMing us, you know, some of y'all might have seen a sneak peek of some merch. Mm-hmm. You know, we needed a exactly. break. Exactly. We needed a break. Um, but what you all can do is continue to like and share, share and subscribe, subscribe. Yes. because we're trying to reach a thousand followers we are. okay that's our new goal a thousand followers and a thousand subscribers that's what we want yeah so. that's exactly what we want y'all continue to share with your mm-hmm. friends family you know maybe not you know any church people i don't know too much about that i don't think this might <laughs> be for it, it's not i'm just not gonna share it on facebook yeah, just don't. oh yeah you know i just don't like it like when you when we used to share our episodes i'm like people be like what you what do you mean what, what did you talk about and it'd be all right and be in your face be like hey cuz what's up i still love you but this is my outlet i love you mm-hmm. but if you're wrong with me i'ma out your ass <laughs> Stand <laughs> <laughs> with us again, yeah. you know. Episode one, season three. You know, we we just so excited. The BGE so back, the baby. Right out of twenties. We got this thing. Y'all have a good day. Mm-hmm. Bye. Peace out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. You got yeah. you got us.